Right everyone, I'm going to be doing a project. I've put the glue gun on, so while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to show you some of the doilies. Uh, I've put all the doilies up. I think there's only four bundles left, but I've just put up the large doily tablecloths. Now I have to say this month, the ones we got this month are exceptionally good and they are chocker. And I mean chocker um, of the small doilies within the big tablecloths. Um, there were two that had cotton patches in as well. Uh, they were identical. They were round. Then there's a square one. And then there's um, an oval one. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I didn't realise how big it was till I opened it up and put it across the chair. And then there's one even bigger than that with, um, I think it's um, so many, lots of doilies around it. And I think it's th layers of three. And then the big patch in the middle. Absolutely gorgeous. Well worth it. I checked them out online and you can't pick them up for more than uh, for less than 40 quid you just can't they're, they're so expensive and I'm not on about these little ones that they put up and it looks like huge and then when you get them they're only little these are proper genuine tablecloths that are huge and uh, you know if you don't buy it to use it you can get dozens dozens of uh, I'd say dozens of that size doilies from them which are ideal for flowers. Sorry, I'm just going to have a drink. So like I say, just grab them while you can. Because when they're gone, they're gone. And last month we sold out. I get them in from my supplier. She goes to auctions. So she, even though she gets them cheap-ish, she has to still pay quite a bit for them. Doilies and doilies are getting rarer and rarer. Now, this, I'm just going to go through mine. What I do with them is I snip out that middle section like that. I bet you're going, oh, Fee, what are you cutting it up for? Well, I've got to use it. <laughs> How else am I going to use it? But I do cut out the middles and then it leaves quite a nice skirt piece. But I use them for edging. So the doily bits can go in my flowers. See, that'll make a nice flower centre somewhere with a bit of bling. But then these make really nice, um, you know, borders. The fancy borders to put them on. So you might as well hang with me while I'm doing it. So we did the bead one, yes, uh, was it yesterday, day before. So right now we'll do the doily ones. Now I do have another video on doilies because they're all different. And so it, it depends what doily you have to how to dismantle it. A lot of people are scared to death of cutting a doily up. They really are. It's unbelievable. But it's true. I don't. I'm not scared at all. Look. <laughs> now, take that one. Beautiful. Could use as is. But I want more for borders and things like that because I'm going to be doing some more bits. So I will only cut one because I might use it in my next project, which I'm going to be doing today, hopefully. And we're just chopping it up like that. A welcome to the newbies. I see on the comments section of the last video um, we have some more newbies, so welcome. Um, like I said, there's, although there, there has been 5,000 videos. I think I took a load off uh, to redo. Look, I mean, that's gorgeous. Look at that. In a flower but I could even cut that out and use that as a flower center and then use that as a frame and put a little bit of beading around here you just you can do so much with them but uh, this will be used as again another board but look at it now I could use them flat like that and add little pearls or I can actually 
bring that in like that and have a nice border. So I'm just going to share with you. Now we're not going to cut those up. I've got one, two, three, four more of those. I'm not going to do those. Leave them there. Now, uh, this one. Well, the reason why I picked this one myself is because I know you're going to say, Fee, what are you doing? Oh, beautiful doilies. Yeah, but they met my beautiful crafts. So I'm going to use them. But if I cut this, say I've got a little applique, which I'll get another one there. Like that. Which I can use on a project. But then I also, I mean, if I took all of those away, I would be left with these smaller ones. So I could just use that. Um, anyway, so I'm not going to cut that up right now because that'll take some doing. I'll put that to one side and sit and do that tonight. Again, this one. I love the shape of the doily. So I'm going to cut it for the border because I want some borders. Now I've bought, and I'm going to try it later on today, uh, my sister gave me a, a brand new deep saucepan, you know, like for doing a stewing or something like that. And um, so I'm going to use it because <laughs> it's just the right size. But I'm going to use it to dye. I bought a couple of dyes, uh, some of uh, these trims. I'm just going to see what they come out like. If I mean, look, nice doily. If they come out rubbish, then that's my own fault. But that lead in a border will be fantastic. Now this one, I know somebody's just bought the huge tablecloth like this. And I absolutely, I, I almost kept it myself because I do love it. But they just look great on um, projects. They really do. I mean, this you could use diet black. That could be a spider's web. You know, for a Halloween book or something, or a Halloween plaque. Uh, these you can use, like, in your flowers. Uh, just trim them out so that you're getting this bit. There's just a lot you can do with them, so I'm not going to cut that one up until I actually need it. So that's another one. I'm just trying to go through them and let you see what I do. Again, now this one, some will go to waste because I don't need it all. But I will cut these out because I want the border. Oh, that's why you need sharp scissors. So I'm so glad I got mine. I've just started to get uh, people writing in about the scissors that they love them. So I'm, I'm thrilled because I do love these. I'm going to get myself an extra. I've ordered some more in, so I'm going to keep myself an extra pair. Because it doesn't hurt you to have a spare set. I mean, you do really need to have a selection of scissors in for various things. You need scissors for paper, for card, paper and card. You need scissors for clothing uh, materials and things like this. You need scissors for cutting pay, um, um, clay and things like that. So you really should invest in some nice scissors. Now, this one, like I say, I don't want that bit at all. But the flower, which I'm just going to cut round like that for me, is perfect for what I want. Pull that apart. See? Now, I can trim all them bits off if I don't want them. Put a little pearl in the centre, be fine. So that's another one I will uh, sit and do. But look, and I've got a gorgeous border. Now, I don't need to cut that because I'm going to dye them. But I will sit and cut them out later. Now, these, I, there are some of these in all your kits... And I love them. And they, 
you know, because look, these will do a perfect uh, large flower or take the middles out and do a small flower. So that's what mine... I might dye it first, actually. I might dye it first and then show you what, I, what it's like. Because I do keep some cream, but I also keep some... Uh, there's another one. So I've put those in all your kits. Uh, this one, again, I absolutely love the border. So I'm just going to cut the border. We just don't waste if we can help it. You do have to be careful with these scissors, they're quite sharp. And I'm not putting too much pressure on because I don't want to slice my bloody finger off. I've cut into my fingers many times. I will show you the process of me doing the dye. I think I'll film that tomorrow because I have to prepare everything ready for it. All the pieces that I'm going to dye. Beautiful. So you put that on and then you add uh, something like that. Well, again, it's the same, but you, um, a smaller one. And you do that in between. So you can really get some nice things, some nice borders. Now that one I like as is. But then I might want to alter it. I don't know. I'll leave it for now. Like I say, that's what I've just cut. So I've still got enough to take the flowers out of the centre. And I'll sit and do them later. Now this one, I just love. I just it's um, really soft. I like the look of this. And again, what I would do with that is just to trim the middle out. So we'll have to do it then, because I'm going to use it. Try not to do too much at once um, in, you know, cutting. Then you don't make mistakes. And the thing is, each crochet stitch is held on by one, one bit of thread. That. So that, that is just holding on to that. And that's the, all you cut. It's not going to come undone. Um, See, that's not going to come undone because I've cut it. And I've gained another little doily, which I could cut that out and just have the sil uh, circles. Um, but there's a another one. See, they look so good around projects. Now, this one, I saw this one and I thought, well, I'll try that one. Look, because I can cut this out and that gives me like an applique. And then I can cut those out as well and use as appliques. So again, they're the ones you sit and snip at night when you've nothing else to do. <laughs> Not often. So these, we just cut. And we never waste the middles either. See, a doily. You're just cutting and snipping that little stitch in between each one that holds them all together. Oh, let me get this right. That looks like that's where they finished off. And they can be used as well, so we don't waste anything. 
Now, here's a cotton one. I absolutely love that. So I'll, sh I'll share that. Well, I might as well do it now. Let me just have another drink. What I wanted to do with this one, and, and there are some cotton bits in, is I want this trim. Because at the bottom of a page, that will look stunning. They're like little doilies. So I'm going to cut a piece because I actually want to um, try and colour it. So I'm just going to cut a piece out like this. And if you film, you know, when you get your bundles, if you film them, please let me know that, you you know, so I can come along and see your video. And like I said, I don't wash them. They are, they have been washed, um, but kept in, um, they're kept in plastic bags, these, before I get them. Um, but she could have them for weeks. And I think she washes them herself. And then just packs them away um, because she does um, auctions, she does car boots, she does all sorts. And I've been dealing with her for a long time, years. But uh, she's very good to me and she gets me as many as she can. Now, um, my husband, uh, Raymond, as you know, he lost, it. well, he dropped his phone in water and her number was on his phone. Because he's the one that deals with her and goes and gets them for. Well, I deal with her, but she he he goes and gets them, and it <laughs> we couldn't find her number, um, and I couldn't remember it because these days that when your phone numbers are in you, I don't even know my own phone number. I have to go in and have a look if somebody asks me for it, because I just don't know. I think phones make us lazy. But there you go. Look, so I've got that, which is would make a great border. So I'm going to colour one of those, and I'm going to keep that. And there's those I can cut out. But what I'm saying is, um, yes, yeah, she does the she does some really good deals for me. She's quite good, and she always. Um, we're, now we're back to getting them because now I've found a number. What he did, he tried to uh, open his phone and turn it on. He'd bought a new one since then. To open his phone and turn it on and it worked. <laughs> oh, div. <laughs> right, there's four of those. Um, I mean, so very few have got anything wrong with them, but there's a little bit of blemish there. But I'm going to colour those. I'm going to put those in with the things and colour them. Again, this is one of those. I love these. Because I cut this out and put them in my flowers. And why not? And these sections, I mean, that would look great just stuck in a flower somewhere, you know, like gathered up. So that will stay as is and only used when I need to use it. That's not going in the thingy fee, come on. Right, uh, and there's that one again, it's stained. I mean, we don't put stained ones in the packs unless it's a necess uh, necessity, you know, to make up a number of something. But the very, very, very rare or very few that ever, you know, the bundles that ever have stained things in, then you normally all washed and clean. But um, that's that one. I'm going to stain that one before I cut it. Again, this one, look. Um, I will be trying to stain that one a different colour. And then what I will do is to cut this out. In fact, I could do it now and then just stain it. Just leave the border on it. Yeah, they're, they're stored in bags in a shed. Um, a shed and that and they can be there all winter but when I rang an asterisk so when we found a number and I rang an asterisk she had any she said oh I've got loads Fiona 
She went, so I'll, you know, sort through them and bag some up for you. I, I, said, I told her what had happened about his phone. She went, oh, don't worry about it. She went, I knew you'd be, be in touch when you're ready. So I said, oh, you saved them for me then. She went, I've saved everyone. <laughs> so I do get hold of these often. So I've had two lots this month and then... Um, It'll go back to getting the monthly like I used to. So see, it's a nice border. I am going to try and do that like a mauve colour, I think. And then I'm left with that, that I can use on a project somewhere. Do you know what they look nice on? If you get a tall wine bottle and then, then press these and then put them on. They look great and then you can colour them. Really nice. Now this one is just these are oddball ones. They are vintage, but the oddball, and um, I would probably just put that on somewhere and dangle as is. You know, have it dangling from somewhere from a book or something. Take each one of them off, but I want to colour it. Uh, because they're old, and they are old, some of them look a little bit... They're not white, they're not cream, they're not beige. Again, that one, I just love this for the border. And so I will try and colour those that um, I think need a little bit of a colour. So that's given me some doilies to play around with for my flowers. And that's quite nice. A gorgeous border. Hmm. Me likey, likey. Now, this one, um, yes, it was... There's tiny doilies on it, look. But I'm not going to bugger about cutting those. So that will be used as a cover for a book. And to be honest, there's enough in it, I can get two books. Or cover a perfume bottle. I'm going to be doing another one of those. I absolutely love doing them. And um, I haven't really... Well, I did one the other week, didn't I? But I need to get back into them. Again, this, I wouldn't really do much with that. Apart from, you know, possibly... I don't know, I'll possibly cut it here, actually. Yeah, I'll do it there. And then I've got a border. If I do it just across the top of the last hole. Because some doilies people get and they don't know what to do with them. Unfortunately. When they're like this, I mean. Well, it's not hard. Gives me a little doily. Just cut it round so it's all matching. Near enough, that'll do. Go in a flower somewhere. And then again, I've got that gorgeous border. And then um, I did see these, this pack. And I thought, oh, I'll have a look at that. So I'm just going to have a look and see what they're like. And they're new, obviously. So, oh, a staple, is it? Don't know. Oh, yeah, look. Pins. Where's the pin? There we go. Now I will put those, um, let's have a look, oh God, even sellotape's gone yellow, it's that old. <clears throat> I was just going to say, I will pop those. Um, well, there's not six, so I can't do it in the six kits, so, but... We'll do a kit of some sort and somebody else can have them. So there's one, two, three. 
I'll do a kit of some sort and put them in those uh, cream and beige kit. Right, so now what am I going to do? I did say I need to put my light on, I think. I'm not sure if you can see. I think you can, hopefully. <laughs> but I love these flowers that we were doing. So I think what I need to do um, is get my pink fabric, uh, my pink lace. I don't have much of it left. But I've got enough to do. I'm waiting for this to come in again. It's gorgeous. So I think we'll just do that much. Let me see. I usually count the scallops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. A mm, bit many, but a bit too many, but it'll do. It'll do. Okie dokie. Right. I need to do that as a flower. But I'm going to do um, a thing tomorrow. I'll do the dyeing of the fabrics. And I think I will do, in a better light than this, I think I'll do the uh, the next project as well. A big needle with a big eye and I miss it. Told you I can't see. All you young'uns, wait till it's your turn. <laughs> Oh dear. I have to say, I don't have a big light. I, I've got the big light, but it's behind a unit, so you can't bloody see it. Right, let's have a look at this. Just do it once more, I think. And then I'm just going to glue the two sides together. Well, I would if I had some glue, Fee. See, I save all the bits I take out because you just slot them back in and then you can use them. Like that, you see. There. And then we pull that around. So it's going to be a four inch flower. I'm just evening that out. Like that. Now, let's see if I've got a decent doily that I cut up. I love that one. I love that one. And I think we can do another one. I think we can do that one. Let me just check what I've got. Oh, I like that one. And then we could do... No. Oh, no, I like that one. Too big, though, because you won't see the one underneath it. Okay, we'll just do one of these. Right, so... Just pop that on there. I'm going to do that one on top of that. See? They're gorgeous. I want that one. And pull that in the centre like that move that in nice not nice that's pretty and then we just want a little bit of felt on the back let me just get a piece of felt oh. look what we were cutting the other day waste not want not
Right, let me just put a bit more. Another one. <laughs> when I'm doing a project, what's left over, I put it at the side of me so I can use up. Like that. Pop that on the back. Yes, and I like that. So I hope that's helpful. Do try when you get your doilies. Um, don't be afraid to cut them. You know, try and make the most of them because it's uh, there's quite a lot on them. I'm just going to glue that bit down. Just to make sure it's held in place. That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.